toe-to-toe meeting leather here in 2017 the first full weekend of college football it's here finally Indiana won the toss they have deferred so they're gonna kick off and let their defense take the field first and that means Paris Campbell and KJ Hill back deep to receive for the Buckeyes Was very close anyway. Third and five. Dobbins once again leaves the backfield. Barrett's going to throw short. That's caught, and that's a first down and more. Paris Campbell, who is expected to be a big play receiver this year for Ohio State, first down Buckeyes. And another mesh. John Nuremberger, who's not been the primary kicker for a couple of years. His first attempt of 2017 is good. And the Buckeyes are on the board first with a 3-0. They are just spreading it out and throwing it around right now. And they are really going fast. Lego toward the end zone. It is incomplete. Foot on the line. Ian Thomas, the tight end, arguing that he had it and was inbound. For calling plays that way, Kevin Wilson can keep his head in the call sheet. Focus on that. Ryan Day, guys, can watch the field and make confidence in guys that can play at different levels of this defense second down and nine that throw down the field is incomplete and the hit came in from the eyes and then getting his hand back to be able to knock that ball away yeah he looked like a DB now this time the pass perfectly thrown option football and plus one with the quarterbacks running the ball this will be interesting do they have faith in him to throw the ball it's tipped and caught anyway what a great effort Ryan Watercutter, the second tight end, picked it clean before it hit the turf. Ball. There's no question about it. Now, and I like the fact that he's throwing the ball to the wideout. See that? He's throwing the ball one on one with the wideouts. In case Ohio State doesn't go to zone. Deep. And here's where you don't know whether they can move the ball on the ground. On fourth and one, it's a pass, and it's a first down. Right. Playing in the NFL, they lost three first rounders. Third and five. A little pump fake. And that one tipped and intercepted. Off the tip ball. Down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That's Jordan Fuller, the safety. Now that first penalty on the Hoosiers puts the Buckeyes into Indiana territory. And off on first down. There's the quickness of the moves of the freshman. J.K. Dobbins gets to the outside. To the 15 and inside the 10. Inside the goal line area, or they're not going to be the number two team in the nation. That's a good point you make. The field goal is up and good. Yeah, Coach hit Tom Allen. I don't know if that's a wrist or a hand issue or what. But he's on the sideline for third and nine with time. Let go. That one was tipped, I think, but it's completed anyway. And there's the tight end, Ian Thomas, running wide open out to the 45. Oh, there it Boy, if he saw him, he walks to the end zone. That pass is caught, left sideline, first down Indiana, and more. Simi Cobbs fighting the Buckeyes defense inside the 30. It's a coordinator, has implemented a rhythm and a tempo here that Richard Lego feels comfortable with. Play fake, that one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I think it's another one-handed grab by Cobbs. He on third and goal. Ohio State showing some pressure, a little play fake, and they will try it again to Cobbs. Touchdown! Great coverage. What See if they can take control of the line of scrimmage. There they go. Dobbins gets through to the 20. Inside the 15 and still going inside the 10. It'll be first and goal, Ohio State. That's a great job of the right side of the Ohio State offensive line. I guys trying to go fast. They got to the line of scrimmage very quickly. Barrett will hand it off, and it's a touchdown. Antonio Williams will do their best to try to bottle up the young freshman. Second and five. Barrett gives it to Dobbins this time. And Dobbins, tough to bring down. He's out into the open to midfield and finally tackled at the Indiana 49. Wow, well, is an impressive run. He's carried the football tonight for this Ohio State offense. But a big game nonetheless. Third and two. Back to pass. Barrett going down the middle. He's got a man and it is incomplete and dropped right in the hands of Campbell. That was a touchdown. You're a now fourth and two and the Buckeyes are going for it Barrett gave it and no good they did not get the first down KJ Hill coming across the formation took the ball from Barrett 
Eagles, instead of going up 20 to 14, still trailing. Big hit after the quick completion. Wow. Well, that is just a great job of recognizing the quick throw by Damon Arnett to give his running back a chance. That was a poor effort. Third and two. Barrett, pressure coming up the middle. He'll throw short for a first down, and Campbell hangs on this time, and now he's off and running, leaping over a defender out of bounds. And I think that'll make Paris Campbell feel a little... They're going for it. Barrett will give it to Dobbins. First down. Pretty good. Well, Dobbins is in the game, but he's wide right. So JT Barrett alone in the backfield. Barrett's going to keep it. Barrett, end zone touchdown. Indiana fans in the second half are waiting to die. They need to make a big play. I've been saying it during this whole broadcast. Indiana fans are like, oh man, good things are happening. Well, we got about this we got opportunity to Fonte Williams All right. with the kick return. The thing he didn't talk about is the reason. Ohio State's defense has been able to make plays here in the second half. Wow, that was a dangerous play. Lego, and I don't think they've blown the play dead. They've let it go. He thought it was an incompletion. Instead, rumbling toward the end zone and into the end zone. Touchdown. He walks over there, what he sees. So here we go. After review, that was an incomplete pass. It's going to be third down and nine from the 30. Reset the game clock for 6 Second down, Indiana in Ohio State territory. Wide open, Cobbs across the middle. And he's knocking defenders backwards down to the 25. And inside the 25, he is having a huge night. So Ohio Cobbs in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. That's what they've been doing all night. He's got him again one-on-one -on -one against uh, Sheffield. Jump ball coming. We'll see. Lego instead toward the tight end. Touchdown! His second of the night, Ian Tuck. 20, number two on the road to start the year. Conference game really being tested. Campbell across the middle. Paris Campbell got the big time speed. There he goes. Campbell off to the races. 10, touchdown. Breakthrough and breakthrough meaning they've been close, but can we have that breakthrough moment? Looking for it tonight, wide open across the middle, and there's Dixon again. Dixon to the 20. Dixon, touchdown. 59 yards in the backfield to his left. Two-point try. Barrett keeps it. Add on two more. And a manage to get JT Barrett and the offense off the field. Now their offense has to get it going again, and with plays like that, it's going to be tough. Ball came out. The end of the ball, and I think the bucket guys have it. Yeah, that ball came out. I don't. Nobody from Indiana. There wasn't a whistle. Nobody from Indiana went for the football. But what an effort that time. State now has a chance to really open this game up. Fifth sack for the Buckeyes defense. Barrett touchdown. And that's Victor with the catch. That looked like some of the plays that Indiana had against the Ohio defense behind Worley. And good throw by Lego. In the pocket again. That one is intercepted. What a play on the ball. That should count as an interception. A fight for it with Donovan Hale. But that highly touted seniors last year, even though he didn't play. Williams, touchdown. He's got another one. Smile for your teammate. He did. He did. That's J.K. Dobbins was a star in his first college game. Final score, Ohio State 49, Indiana 21. For Kirk Herbstreit, for Laura Rutledge, Dave Fleming saying so long from Bloomington Sports Center with SVP.